iOS 4.2 and Flash for the iOS devices, all right here. Hello there internet, I am Christopher Chaos and this is my iPhone show and today iOS 4.2 GM, which stands for I guess Gold Master, has been released to developers but if you want there is a link down below where you can download it yourself and be able to run it on your iOS device early but you will also have to get um, what's called iTunes 10.1 I believe it is and there's in that same link there's also a download for that. But um, Really, you're not getting a whole lot extra if you have an iPhone device. Mainly, 4.2 is really going to really you know hit home for you iPad users out there because it's really going to bring you up to par with the iPhone 4 and everything else. It's going to be able to allow you to have multitasking, allow you to um, be able to have Game Center and folders and all the other stuff that uh, the iPhone 4 and the 3GS was able to have now. Um, so really, it's basically a great thing for the iPad users. If you have an iPhone 4, there's a couple little tweaks here and there, but really the only big thing you really see out of it is being able to print from your iPhone. They've added in to where you're able to wirelessly print to a wireless printer. So you have a printer that's able to wirelessly print uh, documents off of your computer, then you'll be able to do it with your phone. A lot of other phones have already had this for a while, but another little thing of Apple playing catch up basically with the competition on this one. So if you want to get it early, there's links down below so you can get it early. Otherwise, you can just wait in a couple weeks. It should be out. Um, they've already set a deadline, or not really a deadline, but you know, started taking submissions for 4.2, and a lot of people usually estimate usually about two weeks after that um, is when it'll probably come out. So it'll probably be out in a couple weeks. Maybe if you're an iPad user, then maybe you go for it, but if you're an iPhone user, I'd probably just wait a couple weeks and stuff. Um, I also hear like a lot of people have a little bit of bug issues with like iTunes um, using 4.2, this version of it, if they because they don't have the uh, developer's code and all this stuff like that, but otherwise you can get the whole thing without having a developer's uh, login and password and everything. But um, I'm hearing some people saying that certain other features are kind of being really horrible without being able to uh, log in and stuff. So you might want to wait. So previously with iOS devices, you try to go to a website that has like a flash video on there and it wouldn't work. Well now through a company or business or whatever they are called Skyfire, you are now going to be able to do that. Um, they finally, through a long trial of process of trying to get this app approved, have finally been approved to run this program called Skyfire that will basically allow you to be able to watch Flash videos. Um, is what Skyfire really is, is a browser that's kind of designed based off of Safari. So you have a lot of the same features as Safari, but a few added features as well. Um, one of those being able to allow you to watch Flash videos. So this would be a really great thing. Um, from what I understand, Thursday, um, which today is the second, so the fourth would be the Thursday that it's supposed to come out in the App Store. And from what I hear is it'll be $2.99 in the App Store. So spend the $2.99 and be able to watch Flash videos on your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch if you have you know, the right generation to be able to do it with. Um, I don't know if, as far as limitations, maybe you can still even do it with the iPhone 3G and older iPod Touches, I'm not really sure. But um, look for it in the App Store on come Thursday, um, so check out Skyfire. So that's really about it for this Tuesday, November 2nd. I'm Christopher Chaos. I'm going to try to be doing more videos, maybe some vlog stuff here and there. We'll see how things go. But thanks for watching my video. Leave some comments down below. Ask me questions. I'll try to see if I can answer them. But otherwise, I will check you guys later. See ya.